Hey there friends, in today's video we are going to be doing two types of resets for this iPod 6th generation. This is really scratched up, but this model number is actually the A1238. It's the 6th generation classic iPod, and uh, it's a very simple fix. Let's do this right now. Okay, so our first reset is simply going to put things back into original factory settings. Uh, with just your settings. This is not going to erase your content. So uh, what you're going to be doing is actually going on or hitting the menu key and then you're going to be going down to the settings by scrolling your, your little wheel here. So we're going to go down to the settings and then I'm going to click the middle button there and that is going to bring up another menu and we're actually going to do this wheel all the way down here to the bottom and you'll see there's a reset settings. Now, if I hit the uh, the middle button here again, basically you can see that it's going to reset the iPod, just the settings to the uh, the factory default uh, mode. Now, again, you can see that our synced content is not going to be modified. So I need to scroll this wheel over to the reset uh, option and then click the enter button. So basically that just resets it to, uh, as you can see, it's looking now to establish what language and things we want. I'm going to go ahead and hit English. And uh, basically that just puts it right back to the original settings. Now, if we want to wipe this iPod completely, we actually need to do that through the iTunes interface on our Mac laptop. So I'm going to plug this into the laptop and we can check out the software interface. We are currently looking in the iTunes uh, software interface. This is also called Apple Music now. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to look over here on the left and after you plug in your device to a USB port, you should see your device name pop up over here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And we can see that it's going to bring up all of the device information as well as the battery uh, charge levels and those kind of things. So as you can see, this is filled with all sorts of music here. Again, uh, what this is a used iPod. I want to delete all this so I can either reestablish it as my own iPod or sell it. All right, so what we are going to do is we're going to come up here to the sync settings. I'm going to click on that. And this is going to open up a, another window here, a finder window. And inside here, basically, we're going to go to this restore iPod option. It's also going to update the current iPod software that they have for this. So that's kind of great. New software, and we're going to restore the iPod, obviously. So let's click on this. And let's click the restore button. Now remember, this is going to delete all of the data, all the songs that are currently on this iPod, and reset it to the factory settings, meaning nothing will be on here. So let's go ahead and click that. And then we're going to get this pop-up window that basically asks, hey, you want to reinstall this iPod Classic software? We're going to click the next button. You're going to have to go through this agreements and click agree here. And then you can see there's a little uh, timer here that's allowing the reset uh, to happen. Again, I'm back right now on uh, the iTunes or Apple Music uh, software. All right, so once that clears, you can see that it is syncing. It's gonna ask for uh, your device username. Uh, in this case, it's our Mac uh, laptop administrator name. I'm gonna type that in real quick. Okay, if we go back here to our little pop-up window, we can see that this specific iPod is now being restored and it's walking through the uh, the motions here. Again, if we look on in our iTunes uh, window, you will see that it's actually unable to see the device. So again, this is just in the restoration process and uh, we're gonna let that do its thing and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, as you can see, after that software has been reestablished onto the iPod, you're back onto this uh, home screen. And uh, let's hit the menu button here. And uh, basically, if we click on music, you can see that we have no music. Uh, we can click back to the, uh, the home screen again. All our videos and photos are also gone. No videos, no photos, no podcasts. So this has officially been reset at this point. Uh, again, friends, that's how it's done. Uh, if you want to reestablish a music collection, obviously you need to pair it again with your Mac. 
Um, but that is a factory reset. Hopefully this has helped. If it has, would you guys hit that thumbs up button? It helps us make more great videos. And uh, we got a lot more coming up as well. So you may want to hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, friends, and have a great rest of your day.